Hello and welcome back to Whatever Lessers. I am dressed really fancy today because I literally just got back from a job interview and I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered to change so I'm in my fancy clothes. Apart from these things all over me. What are those? Everyone knows, the scrunchies. If you haven't seen a scrunchie, I don't know where you've been since the 90s. Or the 80s. The scrunchies are an 80s thing, aren't they? Anyway, a few months back, to deal with all of my having a sort of breakdown crisis energy, not only did I dye my hair pink, I also made just a botload of scrunchies. Um, and I thought today I would share with you how I went about doing that. So you too can have a crisis and make 16 scrunchies. Uh, and it's it's on brand because they're dinosaur themed scrunchies. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't know either, but apparently the London Natural History Museum has its own fabric line, which is very exciting to me. And so of course I bought a metre of each and now I'm just going to slowly make everything in my life Natural History Museum dinosaur paleontology fabric themed. These are pretty simple things. You don't necessarily need a sewing machine. It'll make it a little bit quicker if you have one, but it's by no means a necessity at all. These are really easy to hand sew, and in fact you need to hand sew the last little bit. So there you go. Without further ado, here's what you're going to need. You will need fabric, hair ties, scissors and or a rotary tool, something to measure and mark your fabric with, thread, a sewing needle, pins if you would like them, a sewing machine if you have it. Start by marking where you want to cut your fabric. All you need for this is a rectangle, and I made mine about 15cm wide by 40cm long, which gives you plenty of room for seam allowance and folding over the ends when you will sew it up. If you have especially thick hair or want a massive scrunchie, you may want to make it a little bit longer, but I'd say this is a pretty good measurement for most hair types. Now we have our rectangle, you want to go ahead and make sure the right side, the side you want everyone to see at the end, is facing upwards. And we are going to start threading this through our hair elastic so we end up with about half the fabric on each side. Make that into a lovely even fabric donut, and at this point if you want to pin it to help with sewing, this is where to do that. I didn't bother because I'm lazy and it came out good, but whatever works best for you is absolutely the way to go. Once we have that, we are going to sew that up along the outside edge. I'm using my sewing machine, but if you don't have one, hand sewing will work just as well. If you're not confident with a sewing machine, and especially with sewing something so curved, go slowly and make sure to frequently check that you're not catching any folds as you go. As you can see, I left quite a lot of seam allowance, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim that to reduce a bit of bulk. Once you have that, you will notice your scrunchie is inside out, so just go ahead and reverse that. Because I make mine quite wide, it means it's not too difficult to turn them the right way around, but if you are struggling, you can buy tools to help you. Or I'm pretty sure there are some hack style videos elsewhere on YouTube for this sort of problem. After that, all that's left to do is sew up the ends. I like to fold these inside first to hide away the raw edges and then go in with a slip stitch as this is virtually invisible and looks really neat. If you aren't familiar with slip stitch, then just search it or invisible stitch on YouTube and there's a bunch of tutorials. Once you have done that, congratulations, you have a finished dinosaur scrunchie and everyone is jealous of you and your incredible hair accessories. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Fun story, I went on a fossil hunting trip recently and I was wearing one of these and I had like a spare one and there were these little kids on the same in the same fossil hunting group and their mum had made them like little tiny bags out of the same fabric and uh, that's when I knew I was really cool um, wearing the same fabric as these literal children.
I know I'm cool.